Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes available on Windows 11 build 22494. This new preview is available on the dev channel and while changes in this channel are not tied to any specific release of Windows 11, the improvements are expected to arrive in the next feature update and some of them even before through service pack. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22494. Perhaps the most notable addition in this flight is the new button in the taskbar to mute and unmute the microphone during a Teams call. The feature is limited to a small number of users, so that's why I'm only showing you a screenshot from Microsoft, but according to the company you will find a microphone icon automatically when you're actively in a call. Using this feature you can see the call audio status, what apps are accessing the microphone, and you can quickly mute and unmute the call at any time. In addition, the icon will be present throughout the call, so it is always accessible no matter how many windows you have open on the screen. Although right now this feature is only available for Microsoft Teams, the company said that it's not limited to Teams. Developers will also be able to integrate this feature direct into their applications. Also, we won't have to wait until the next version of Windows since it will be available in a future servicing update. On Windows 11, build 22494, Microsoft is also testing showing snap groups like in the taskbar when opening task view to allow users to switch between the different groups more quickly. So let's say that we use a snap assist to snap two applications, in this case Microsoft Edge and File Explorer. When you hover over one of the applications that is participating in that group, you can see that we get the group and this is a preview that now we can see on task view as you can see right here this is the group so you can switch quickly to that particular snap group bill 22494 also includes a new uri to open the install apps settings page which is this one right here ms settings semicolon install apps and when you run that command it will open the install apps page. While we're here, let's just look at some of the uh, changes available on the settings app. On this flight, on the apps page, more specifically on the uh, default apps page, the search box has been updated so as you type, you will now see this drop down with results about the query. In the past, you needed to type the query and press enter to see the results. Now it just show up as a drop down. Also in the uh, install apps page, the sort by menu has been updated with new descriptions for each of the options and now we get an option to sort the small to large size. Alongside these changes, build 22494 also fixes a bunch of problems with Windows 11. For example, in File Explorer, now the company has fixed a crash prone with the context menu and now when you go to show more options each of the items has more padding around so it's easier to use the menu and the padding not only is available in the legacy context menu but also on task manager file menu as you can see right here and according to the notes you can now rename files once again on the desktop. Also in the taskbar, the tooltips when hovering over different icons should no longer appear in random places. And this flight also fixes a problem that was causing duplicated icons on the corner of the taskbar. There are even more fixes and this flight also includes a bunch of non-issues. So make sure to check the video description with a link with all the details about this preview of Windows 11. And that's pretty much it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.